Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here, pretty good here. So, we're going to shut the computer off for the last time, the old computer anyways, and uh, start our build of our new computer. We've got to tear the old one apart first because we're still going to use the old case and power supply. And I guess CD, ROM, drive, DVD drive, you know, I don't ever use them anymore at all. It's all nothing. Everything is downloaded online, right? So, we'll... Uh, Get her stripped down here, but let's shut her down. The last time we gotta shut this computer off. All right, she's shutting down. And the old video card will, a well, new video card will just boom, eventually here. done our work for us. All right, let's get her apart here and start tearing it apart. All right, well, I guess we'll say if you're watching this video, we must have been successful in rebuilding our computer. Um, <laughs> we uh, hope we'll be successful as of now. We'll, we're in deep shit. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so what we're going to do is start pulling things apart. And I guess number one will be this video card. So we'll pull him out. Pull his plugs out, hopefully. Come on now. We'll doing that. So these are, we'll go back in when we have the new motherboard in. So. Those can for now just kind of go that way. And I think this one has a double screw holding it in, if I remember right. And yes, I have magnetically charged my body to deliver electric shocks to our brand new system here. So we should be good to go. Now, I really could use a magnetic. I don't understand that. I'm going to use a magnetic tipped screwdriver to put things in that are magnetically sensitive. That doesn't make sense. But, anyways. There we go. Got that big mother out. Just barely fits in there. The thing weighs like freaking six pounds. Still looks good. I got no broken fins. These fans actually. Hardly come on, barely at all. They do, but when it's just sitting there idling in windows, it doesn't come on. <laughs> okay, so this I believe it should say on here, uh, USB 3 connectors on the front, I believe. So we'll just hang everything out for now. Uh, boy, Boy, oh boy, what are these plugs going way over here for? Must be ATX power stuff or something. Now there's a fan. There. So that's good. Hopefully that fan should be all right to get out of there and to get the uh, motherboard back out. It should just plop right in. Now we'll do the big power cable here. Should be all in one. Oh man, I don't like it pulling on these things much. There we go. Got to push that little tab too, right? Alright. And... Uh, there's the audio cable and... There's the USB there too. Okay. I guess we'll pull these powers out. Not really sure what these ones are for. There's a tight spot in there, that's for sure. Okay. More power supply stuff. And where did that go into? That is JPWR2 power, whatever that means. I presume it'll just go back in the kind of the same way as it came out. 
and I'm kind of hoping that it's all the same mount holes <laughs> as the other one. We'll have to uh, definitely play with that. Um, boy, oh boy, what a mess of cables, eh? What a mess of cables. And there's a SATA drive. I should make this simpler and get this guy out. Might have to take the other side off, but um, there's the audio stuff. They should just pull right out. I think that's for the front audio, which I guess I am using or was using. So that can come out. I should have actually picked up a bigger case for all this, but we didn't. So, so we didn't. <laughs> Okay, so now all these ones, there's more USB there, I see on there. And that's pretty straightforward, it's missing a pin. So I don't want to go on one way. That's uh, another USB there, got lots of USBs. The thing is, I don't know if this new case has that many, or the new uh, board has that many USB stuff. Which has got me a little bit concerned. Um, okay, might need a longer screwdriver to get down there to get these screws back out. And uh, we'll take the SATA drives off of here. And uh, this is a fairly fresh SATA drive I just put in uh, the bottom here. So what I'm going to probably have to do is get it out hook it up to my laptop and format it back to nothing. I guess Windows would kind of do it anyways. I had to put Windows 10 in. Um, there's another side of there. I put Windows 10 in. So, but I want to straighten all this junk out of here because there's a lot of, a lot of stuff. And okay, I'm just going to come in your way there, so. Uh, I really don't understand the power switch and all that stuff. So, while it's in here, I'm going to take a picture of it. I think this new board comes with a plug thing. You plug those into first, and then you plug the plug into the board. So that's a good thing, because there's, I think, unless these are all individual plugs, which they are. Why have they not changed that? Silly thing. Okay, so we got a bunch of screws in here. They're holding the board down. And I probably will get a little pair of needle nose to get those out. Because they don't want to stick to the screwdriver. It's not magnetic, so. This board looks a little New one looks a little bigger to me. I hope uh, I hope I'm not going to have a problem here. It won't fit in this case, and I have to get a new case, perhaps. Because that would suck. Okay, so there should be little screw things in here that screw into the into the case, and then these screws screw into those screws. If you know what I mean. Okay, let me grab a little pair of completely electrified needle nose. At least 350 amps going through these things. And I've got, well I'm going to eliminate the spinning drive here. Go just straight SAT I believe. Or uh, uh, S solid state drive, sorry. I'm going to go solid, solid state drives. Solid, solid state drives. And uh, get away from these stupid, slower, spinning, stupid hard drives. I think I see another screw there. So this computer, this computer has done a lot of work for us and for you guys. It has played games, recorded games. It has Rendered videos, uploaded videos, 
all kinds of stuff, you know. Um, okay, I think we're free here. If I can get her out. Or am I still screwed down somewhere for one? Felt a little snug still. I might be, uh... My screw to the back here. I can't remember now if they did those or not. Oh, I'm missing a screw right there. That should now get us free. And we're out. I want to look at this see how these mount because it's the same on the new one but um, let's punch out I've got to punch out this little how's that work got to punch out this little grill thing because it's different on the new one of course I got all the new stuff laid out over here and I kind of hope the mounts are all the same there's those little there's those little screws I was telling you about that screw into the motherboard I, I would imagine they'd be, be the same because it doesn't look like there's any other holes to mount anything to so losing losing my screws well, let's get uh, this new guy out I know you guys love them Crinkly crinkles. I love the crinkly. And now we're looking for. I want to put some of this junk. We're looking for the proper panel, and it's just one panel. I guess I thought there was two in there. Ooh, it's foamy. That's why it looked like two. So we got this thing. Where did it go here? Now I want to show. Uh oh, where did it go? Oh, there. That little guy there. You plug all your plugs into this guy, which makes it fairly easy. Hopefully, it's labeled well on the case here. And that plugs into the board. So, when we get to that stage, we'll get to that stage. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. I can go with that board. I know the crinkles. So this will need to go in our case. Nope, not that way. Not a wound. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Well, that's that's kind of weird. You should go. What the freaking crap? That board goes in that way. I am sure of that. But why does this not fit? I wouldn't go that way. I wouldn't go, no. It's obviously this way. Hmm. Well, that's not friendly. What am I doing wrong here? Because this is my, uh, it looks wrong. That's all the... No, that's not even the right... The, the right, the right uh, panel. What the freaking crap? Now just for fun... Does this old one fit? The old one fits good. <laughs> Wait a minute, I screwed up. Tricked ya! <laughs> I tricked, tricked you. I was wondering what was going on there. No, I, I screwed up. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, it says... It says right there, Prime, and you know, on there it says Prime 2, but I got it mixed up. My bad. So, okay. Probably should put on, but I think we'll, we'll just line up some holes here. So those three look like they're good. Those two look like they're good. That one looks like it's good. One, two, holy freaking crap. I can hardly believe that. My goodness. But let's just make sure we do have... The right guy here now. I think we're good. Alrighty. And that 
should just clip in. Uh oh, it doesn't fit in my case. Uh oh. Uh oh. think we're in. Okay. I like it. So, uh, that's a nice board, eh? Oh, and they smell so expensive. But anyways, we're good. So, comparing sizes, I'm just going to kind of hold them. I think they'd be exactly the same. Yeah, we're pretty, pretty darn close. Make sure I don't put the wrong one back in now. And I'm going to just set this fella in here. New power. Whoa, it even fits into there. Oh, it doesn't potentially like this fan here, though. Unless something is holding me up. plastic cover on whatever this guy is here is kind of useless to me it might have to disappear because I think it's what's holding me up I can't uh, seem to swing it underneath this fan Ooh, oh, drop the board there bud try not to touch the top you're supposed to only touch the sides sometimes it's hard not to touch it though Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. What do we have to do to get this stupid cover off? Because I really don't care for it there. It doesn't really need to be there. So, don't touch your board. Just went out the wind dirt. We're going to take this stupid plastic cover off because it's interfering with my fan because you know like I got a solid side on this so I'm not gonna see it okay look at that we got tons of room now tons of room I don't know why that's on there because it really doesn't do anything for me anyways any who's sounds like someone's home now she should she should uh, what's going on with this now here it's got weird little thingies in here that we need to push up I think good are we good are we good I think I think we're mostly good there's something that's holding me up though I think we're good there okay 14 whoop wrong screw 1400 screws now started I think we sh should be all right though almost need a little stubby for these guys but I think my stubby is a little bit longer or uh, bigger head sorry oh it's a little magnetized though yeah that should work That one's not going to work either because it's too thick here now. <laughs> okay, what else have I got in my toolbox? Oops. No, that one's 
too long. Yeah, that one's way too big. Uh oh. That's not gonna work. Hang on, I'm finding a screwdriver proper. Oh, that one might work. I got three of them down here to get in. I need a long screwdriver to get right down there, but unfortunately, I'm short of longer screwdrivers. I may not make you sit through watching me screw all these screws in, so we'll see you on the other side. Okay, last couple of screws, the easier ones or nicer ones are going in. And, oh boy, it's been such a long time since I built a computer. It's so much fun. The best part is if it works too. <laughs> if it doesn't work, it's not so much fun. All right, we are good for that now. Going to get rid of this old hard drive, which I actually think has been all my problems. I think that's all it was was this this hard drive. I think I was fine with everything else, but it is time for a change. This one has done a lot of work for us. I don't uh, blame it at all. Oh, you can secure the other side. That's good. I don't blame the machine at all for saying no. I am finished. I'm wore out. Because, you know, it's a long day. And this, you know what? I've had this computer oof, four maybe years, five maybe years, and it's been off like three times. <laughs> I just keep it running. Okay, so I'm going to step that guy over the wire. And here we want to get these screws out. And I am going to mount in another solid state drive for this guy. So let's just put it down. Here's our big power cable. Ah, uh, this come out and get uh, data, data cable can come out in this one. Actually, it's still probably a good drive. It's only two terabytes. That's not very big. I think my new solid street drive I got is a two terabyte, if I remember. Yeah. And then I've got my other one that's already in here, which also needs to come out. Now, where did it mount to? It mounted underneath here. Oop, wrong screwdriver. It mounted underneath here. Because I need to, I think, run this. I've got an adapter. I'll show you that. It's pretty cool. An adapter to adapt so you can plug this in as like a portable hard drive. And I'm going to wipe it, format it um, from my uh, laptop. Although I'm pretty sure once I start Windows, it'll kind of do it on its own. But I just don't want it to start up with the other operating system, right? So I want it to be all fresh. So this guy will take out. And out, oh, and I'll show you what I've got for an adapter for this. Okay, so that's the adapter guy there. It does power and the data stuff, and it just runs off the USB feller, which is pretty cool. So that just plugs right on. Ba bang! We'll plug that into our uh, laptop here whenever he boots up, and uh, we'll start formatting this guy. Okay, now there's a lot of glare, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, this should hopefully work here. It might say, oh, you can't do that, because it's got Windows stuff on it, right? So I might have to go in and be mean. Oh, format complete. Oh, really? Well, okay, I didn't really want to do a quick format. Okay, so 465 gigabyte. I mean, it's done. What the heck happened there? Format. 
Hmm, interesting. I guess it's going. Ah, I'll leave it for a bit. It did a quick format, so it should be empty now. I'll check it in a few minutes here, but uh, let's pull the new computer aside for a sec. I want to have a look at the old system. Okay, I've got this also on my very anti-static table. Plastic table, just so you know. I want to see, because I'm not 100 presidents sure yet how these guys work, but I want to get this off. And I want to have a look at the thermal paste under this cooler. I want to see if it's still goopy or if it's dried up. Maybe that's the problem we were having and it kind of fried the CPU. I don't know. These are supposed to just pull up. And we better pull this CPU fan off. Alright. Could just use this fan again maybe. I presume. That is it. I just want to look under here. Yeah, the little black tabby things have pulled out. So this should just pull right off. And let's zoom in a bit here. Oh. Okay. So we pull this straight. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. Ooh, there's not much thermal paste on that guy. Well, that's okay though. They probably actually just used what came on it. You can see it's quite dry. It's not wet anymore. <laughs> so that might have been my problem. She was getting a bit spicy warm. It's, it's actually and it dried up like snot, sort of. So that's really not a good thing. Uh, okay, this looks just like my new board. Pull that guy off. I don't know if I still got the bill for this when we bought it. But there she is. Oh yeah, I'm going to clean this off. Oh, here we go. There's the old feller. i7-4790. Pretty sweet. Was a good machine. She did a lot of work for me. Very happy with this little chip. It doesn't smell burnt, but that stuff was definitely dried off, so that's why... Uh, that is why... I am not going with the stock goo on there. I've got some of my own. So let's put this board back aside. And I got a big box here. And we'll zoom you back out maybe. There we go, we got a nice big box here. Ridiculous, this huge box for what contains in it. Got a knife there, bud. I sure do. So that thing is formatting. It's slowly working out. Slowly working out. I'm not in any big hurry, so I didn't realize it was on quick format. I would have rather have done it slower speed, but that's all right. Okay, so all the way from Amazon, the Amazon for this. <laughs> Huge box just for that. That's pretty sad. So, <laughs> this is uh, Quicksilver, Arctic Silver, High Density Poly Synthetic Silver Thermal Compound. And you only need the size of a P right in the center of the chip. We're going to maybe do that right now. Get the new computer down here. All right, so let's just get this cooler, cooler, the cooler out. 
probably be exactly the same. I looked at all kinds of coolers, okay? I know you guys are gonna say, don't use that one, don't use that one. All right, I understand, but you know what? I didn't really have any problems with this one other than the paste, I think, dried out. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna wipe this crap off because that's exactly what that was on there before, I think. Uh, yeah, no, you know, I never had any problems with this thing before. Why do you need to go spend like three thousand dollars on a freaking water cooling system? It's not that much, I know. I looked at the water cooling systems. You know what? The specs that they showed me was like maybe two degrees cooler than one of these. So like, well, why? Why? Well, why? <laughs> why? Why? Why do we do that? Um, okay, so this is interesting. This to me looks pretty square. That to me down there does not look square. It looks a lot closer to these holes. So, hmm, what I might do actually is a test. I'm gonna have to do a little test here. And uh, sprinkle a bit of this down here and just to see where it ends up on Cooler, I guess. I really shouldn't have to do that, but let's get this stuff out of here. Boy, that's a tiny thing. Because I would assume that goes there, that goes there. Oh, geez. That goes there, and that goes there. That it should not matter which way you put that. So, we got a little bit of stuff in here, I guess, so we'll just put a little bit on. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta zoom in. Okay, I, I apologize for the, the glare. Not much I can do about it though. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right in the, now there's all kinds of things, okay? I know you guys are probably gonna go at me. Oh, you gotta do a cross pattern. Oh, you gotta do, dots around oh you got to do one in the middle I found the videos I watched one in the middle was the best so we're just gonna do one in the middle like that it's not really a blob but anyways <sighs> okay so I really want, don't want to have to do this twice here now we also got to think too of the best place that we're gonna Plug the fan in. We want the one... I'm going to have to look at this closely here for a second. It should be right around here. I need more light. I can't see. I'm blind. There should be a plug for this one that says CPU fan right there. So CPU one optional. Okay, so that's good. So that would make sense if we went this way with it. The plug's really close and we'll have to... Uh, tie up the, the loose ends here or something, but now we do have, there was a, how the heck did this work now? Yeah, you can go this way and tie these things in, but I'd be a, a little worried about, uh, hang on a sec, I'm just gonna jam this down here. Maybe that'll be all right like that. Okay, so, we go this way. It's not terrible bad. I can take up a bit of the extra room here. Okay, so let's pretend like we're mounting this in. Okay. Okay. I think we're mounted in there. I think we're mounted in there. All right, so that's that's good. We'll say that's been mounted in there. And we're just gonna unturn these fillers. Whoops, don't do that. And see if we can get this off of here again.
Oh, I don't like that. Oh, wait, what? Did I turn those the wrong way? What? Oh, I got the wrong screwdriver again. Okay, so they gotta be turned. I think that way. I don't know. I'm all mixed up. Okay. Oh, look at that. That worked pretty good. We actually got pretty good coverage on that slime. And it's on there, of course, now, too. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That would have been real nice sliming. But now we've taken it off, we have to reapply again, unfortunately. Okay. This is really goopy stuff. Okay, we're pretty good. Okay, I was pretty happy with that, so we'll do the same deal again here. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Sorry. Try to, try to get it so you can see it. Okay. Right in the center. Pea sized, roughly. Okay, and we were going to mount this guy this way. Let's make sure everything's pulled back out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. Definitely a different way to mount. Oh, I'm not it on that side. You bugger. Ugh. Did better the first time. again. Too dark. Okay, what's going on here? Thumb's not happy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I seriously not put it back in the same way? Oh, man, I might do this again. No, this is painful. Imagine what I'm feeling. Ooh, I didn't really mess it up too much yet, so that's good. For corn snakes. What the crap is going on here? This one doesn't seem to want to release. There. Jumping. Now I got thermal paste on the chip that I shouldn't have it on, but it's still not terrible bad messed up there yet. <laughs> it's early though. Oh, what is going on here?
Somebody's messed me up. Something's not right. What did I do? I can't say I really like this style. But I think we're in. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, mama! <laughs> I don't know if I like that too much. Now we might be able to. Maybe sort of hide these a little bit here. And I'll zoom you back out again because we're not working. Whoa, we're really on there yet. Sorry. Okay, so I think we got her. Feels Pretty firm there. I'm going to say I like that. And our first plug is going to go on here. Except I don't know if I want to run it down there because it's going to interfere with the memory. So, CPU fan, and we're plugged in, sweet. All right, I think that could go either way, whatever way you think you like her. Okay, so there's our USB 3, it says on it, which is nice, and that was, where's it on this new board? Um, I think it's this one here, actually. Okay, we got a mess of wires here too, don't we? Let's plug in the main board here. Oh man, I don't like pushing on those when it's... I don't think that's coming in yet. Hmm. So that was it. I don't know. It didn't feel like it snapped in nice. Well, that's it. Ate. And the CD drive will leave it for now, I guess. And this guy. You guys are going to say, oh man, your cable management sucks, bud. Well, yeah, it does, but you know why? Because I'm not going to see it anyway. <laughs> so that's the PCI 3s. I believe those layer. Yep. Okay. We're good. We're good. And this is that weird one. It says CPU on it. It needs to go way of the crap over here. Good thing it's long. And I'm not 100% sure which way, but I th think... Ooh, that'll be fun getting that out again. <sighs> that's in. Yep. Doesn't leave me a whole pile of room with that guy. Wow, might have to go some other way with that, but then I gotta get my uh, big, big huge ass frickin' video card in here still too, somehow. Not very long, is it? Hmm. Okay. That's for one of the drives. We'll just maybe pop those out for now. for the data power sorry power for all the drives and that's going to 
power the CD drive. And I've got a whole schnikey load more of them here. I don't know why they had set it up like that. Could shorten that up a little bit, maybe. I guess they left it for extra drives up there, but I'm not going to put extra drives in, that's for sure. You only need one CD. Actually, I don't even need this because I've got an external CD that I use for, for it. And how often do you actually use use them now? Hardly at all. What the crap way is that going? That's right way there. Okay, so that can be stuffed into there maybe a little bit. Now let me check my drive here. It's almost done. That's gonna be my main drive, and then we'll install that other guy too. Um, okay, so now HD audio. Uh, crap! Which one is that now? I believe it's this one right here because we're missing one pin. And you know what? I should probably really put in this video card first and the memory. Memory would help. We've got memory modules to put in here. And hopefully, hopefully they'll fit. <laughs> Here's our memory modules. I finally got them in, that's what I was waiting for. That's why I was behind doing this, because I was waiting for them to come in. I haven't even opened them yet. We've got uh, DDR4. Oh, sorry. Four eight gigabytes, thirty two gigabyte, two sixty six megahertz. Should be good. Watch the thing on memory too, and they said it really doesn't matter how fast you go with the memory either. Ooh, and these ones all light up and do weird things. It's like, well, you know what? That doesn't really do too much for me because I'm not going to see it anyways. Don't have a clear case, right? Okay, don't dump them on the floor. Oh, what the crap! Oh, we're over in the wrong end. Wow. Uh, there's only two ends, right? And I picked the wrong one, of course. Now this one's getting stuck in here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to put these down here. Shouldn't matter which one goes where. I don't believe there are any different. So we'll just start plugging and playing here. Making sure we put the small end that way. Darn it, need more light. There's a lot of light down there, but I just, I, I'm not seeing it too well. I need more light. Because I'm old, and I can't see what the crap I'm doing anymore. It's funny, I don't need glasses yet, though. Okay, let's see if we can open up the right end this time. Oh, lucky that. Sweet. And small end to the north. Clink. Yeah, to get these things to do all the colors and stuff, there's colors and stuff that'll all through this crap, right? You have to have a program. Download their program for it. I'm like, I don't really care about that. Ooh, don't push that one in yet. These cables are just a bit too short. Clink. Sweet. All right, we might as well work, I guess, for a minute. Let's just try to get all these out of the way here. What the heck was this one now? HD audio. Oh, that's got to go, uh, I think, way over there. Can I plug that in already? <laughs> uh, let's work on these stupid little plugs here. But what is this here now? Okay, so that's for the DVD. So that can. Oh, there's too many plugs. 
too many plugs. I wanted to work on this guy for these all these little E cables, but we'll work on that in a minute. Uh, okay, so that is to go SATA six, five, and six. SATA one and two. I think we can just kind of plug that one in anywhere. That goes that way. Beauty. Those are nice plugs. All right. What the crap was this one? Well, let's go into the little card reader. Oh, geez, I don't know where that one goes. I'll figure that one out after. <laughs> this can go back over here for a moment. Uh, one kind of thing I've got a kind of concern about. I'm not too sure how exactly I'm going to do that yet, but. Uh, to mount, uh, hang on a sec. Come on, computer. What the crap? Format complete. Sweet. Okay, let's take that off. Take that off. One thing. So there's our main hard drive. That'll go in the bottom. But one thing I'm a little sh not sure of is how I'm going to mount the other drive in here. Because this one mounts on the bottom. Okay, I understand that, but... I am not sure how I'm going to mount this other solid-state drive. There's probably some kind of carousel thingy that you're supposed to use for it, but I don't think it lines up with any of these holes. So that's not so good. Uh, boy, oh boy. Because you can mount them on the bottom or on the sides. The bottom doesn't line up here. These are actually shells in here. They don't line up for, for anything here. Well, they sort of line up there. <laughs> A little bit. Well, poop. What am I going to do with that? That one can go back. I guess we can do that one. Switch this guy around here. Yeah, what am I gonna do with that? I don't think my uh, solid state drive come. Well, first of all, let's get this one mounted in here again. Okay, so. So. get away just using these plugs here so we'll put this guy in here and we'll run a cable to them that's one of these guys here uh, I think it was the straight out straight out one if I remember right it's gotta go this way. Okay. That's gonna be our main hard drive, so I gotta make sure I think this one goes into oh boy. Which one's one and two now? Hmm. <laughs> Probably what I'll do is just put the one drive in for now and then uh, get everything installed. Okay, I might have to check the manual on that. Because that I am not sure of which one is actually one and two, because I think that does matter. It used to matter anyway when you install stuff. Now, what the crap did I do with my manual? Right here. Okay, let me just look this up quickly. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is the top one should be one, bottom one, two. Okay, I presume. I don't know. So, okay, so that one's got to go in top. Good. And we'll mount this guy on the bottom here. If I can find all the screwy holes. Hmm. 
Okay, so I gotta get a screw he started. Ooh, that doesn't sit on there too. Does it fit on this big fatty one better? Nope. Maybe it does. Ooh. So I am not positive where I'm gonna mount this other one now. I never thought of that, but I'll open up that package. I highly doubt it comes with bracketry for that type of installation. Because uh, it looks like this one only can house one drive, so that's not good because the second drive I wanted to use for all the games to go on and saving the recordings too. Hopefully it'll work alright. Hopefully. <laughs> Funny, back in the day, you know, I used to build the old Pentium 2s. I somewhere have an old Pentium 2 CPU thing that's massive. And uh, it was a lot faster. <laughs> I'm really slow at it now. But it was more like clockwork, like building a car, I guess. It's just like line work, right? So you just... Okay, done. Test right. Okay, so the drive is in. I'm happy with that. We got two extra slots here. Power things here. Okay, well, let's... Let's get this big monster video card in here. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. God, this thing is like half the size of the freaking computer. It is ridiculous. Okay, so it should go in that slot, I believe. Hang on a sec, got a review. Because now I don't remember. PCI number two, PCI 60 number one. Yeah, makes sense because I already got that slot open. <gasps> of course. Holy mother. Oh my goodness, how is this going to fit in here? This actually might not fit in here now. It should though, you would think. Got to get all the cables and everything in the right spot. Okay, we ready? Is everything clear down here? It's a good thing I got all the, these other cables in here. Jeez, I don't think I'm in the right spot. Oh no. Oh no. This thing is just way too big. I don't know why I'm in the right spot. It doesn't feel right. Hmm. Well, she's down hard to the case. Looks like it's down hard on that slot. It's pretty firm back in here. Not too sure if I really like that too much, but I think that's the way she's gonna have to be. Okay, so we got a couple of screws. Not like that one. Apparently not like that one either. Two screws to hold this this thing in. That's, that's just crazy. Sweet. Okay, this was the card reader. I'm still not a hundred percent sure where this goes yet. Let's finish off the video card here. There's our power. Um, hmm. now, <laughs> I don't remember this now. I think it just kind of went in. Got a weird slot on it. If I 
power consumption, eh? Just insane. Let's run the fans and stuff, I guess. There we go. It's not tremendously, it's really tight with my door on. I had to really mush these down when I put that door on. Now this is a CPU fan, three pronger that we can just find a, a slot anywhere here, I think, for it. That's good. And I do have more fans that I might install. Might install. So I think I got enough room. Wow, that's tight. Not, uh, we actually might not need this cable now. We might be all right to take this one out for now. I think that's going to be an extra for now, anyways. Okay, what are we missing? All these stupid little ones. Okay, so let's get this little connector guy out. I think this is supposed to make it a little easier. I hope, because it's kind of hard to read those now. If it'll come out of the bag for me. Okay, so what do we got here? HD LED. Uh, okay. <laughs> Power SW. Maybe this isn't even right, the right one. Speaker. Okay, this is the part that was kind of confusing me a bit. It doesn't take much to confuse me nowadays. It says on that thing power. So you think this thing, yeah, it's missing the first two. So this thing has to go on this way. I'm just going to try it here. Wait a minute, that thing's... That thing's too, too small. Reset. Oh, I wish this was a little longer. P L E D minus. P L E D minus. Okay, it's only a single prong. HD LED, HD LED plus, plus and minus. I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing here. Pretty freaking fine work. Like I was saying the other day, my uh, fine motor skills are not good now. Uh, this is definitely fine. What we got here? Reset switch. So reset. LED positive. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. And, oh, come on. Power SW. And reset switch. Presume that would go right there. See what I mean? Fine motor skills are not good. Gosh, I think that's right. Power SW, is that already down here, I wonder? Power switch, it's kind of important that one. Hmm. I don't know if I've done this right, I'm gonna start again. 
I'm gonna get this figured out. Give me one second. Okay, I think I got them. I think I got them. Uh, I don't have PC speaker like remember the little things in here that just went. Eh, 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 eh. No, I don't have one of those in these things. That's just silly. I think I got HD LED plus and minus ground reset. I believe, right? I know you can't really see this, but I'll get you down here. So hopefully this is right. Power switch, power ground, I don't know. I put the labels out, so I presume the labels out would be good. And uh, where are those little, those little turds are on this far end here. Power LED and plus and minus. I think I got it right. I'm just consulting with Tyler to double make sure. And uh, then we'll try plugging her in down on here. Hopefully she she goes in. got to stab her down on these guys here. Okay, he's just checking into that. Now i got to somehow get this HD audio, which is missing one pin, which is missing one pin somehow eh, 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 over here. I think if I went this way, it would probably be too short and around the video. Oh, well, it might work. Around the video card there a little bit. Kind of don't like that look of it, though. I might uh, just reroute this around back into here. And that's almost too short. Oh, you turn face. You turn face. Now it could almost sneak. No, that card's not wide enough to do that. How about we just drill a hole through the middle of the card? That would work. No, I'm kidding. But I think... I think I might actually have to go this way, unfortunately. That sucks. It's two big cables. Okay, so that guy should... Oh my goodness, it's so short. <laughs> Come on now. Uh... There we go. That's not terrible too bad. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, well, it's not great, but these are a bit short down here. I think we'll be all right once we get that cable on, though. Now we've got this one here, and it's a USB. Where's he going? US. US. I don't know whether this really matters, but I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, USB, USB 9, 10, 11, and 12. I think I'm going to have to go to one of those because it's so short. USB ports on here. There's got to be a bunch of them somewhere, but we'll plug her into that one. Hopefully it works. And it recognizes everything. It should be missing one plug. Yes, it is, and it has to go this way. I know you can't see it, but there we go. We are plugged in. Okay, and that one is going to my card reader. Hmm. missing one too. Uh, I'm going to ask him on that. I'm not sure. I'm not 100 president sure if that just goes into a USB or not. Hang on. Okay, so he said that uh, the other one with all those stupid ones on it. That it should... Uh, whoops, sorry. It should just... Where the heck did I put it now? Right here. It should just plug these things in there directly, but I think they give you this thing so it's a little bit easier instead of trying to figure out, what the crap, where does this go? So I'm going to try... So HD LED, so it should plug right on the end here. Sweet! I think it worked. <laughs> Let's get you in for a better look. That worked pretty good, I think. I think we got everything right. Ooh, geez, not too close there, mister. So we got another fan, CPU fan there, that's good. So it's kind of hard to see, but HD LED, 
It's going into HD LED. Power LED, HD LED. I think we're right. And on the back side of this should be the power. Power plus LED. Yeah, I think we're good there. Okay. <gasps> that makes me happier. Oh, geez. That's not good for me. Sorry. Sorry, motherboard. You didn't need that, did you? All right. So I'm not quite too sure on the card reader yet. I actually honestly don't use it other than the USB 2 sometimes I plug into this guy here. Um, I have uh, an actual better 3.0 card reader that I use for, you know, whenever I do videos like we're doing now, I'll pull the SD card out, put it in that little reader, plug it into my uh, USB 3, which this one doesn't have a whole lot. It's only got two on it, which is a little, well, three actually, I think, three on it. And uh, one on the front top there, which I believe we have plugged into Hopefully the correct port there. Uh, should double check that maybe. Hmm. All right, just gonna double check everything. I th think we're pretty good here. I think we've done a pretty good build. Um, I've got fans that I wouldn't mind installing on the top here to draw in some air. And I could actually probably do one on the bottom here too. I think there's room there for a fan on the bottom here as well if I really wanted to, but I don't know if I'm gonna go a lot crazy. Um, boy, but this other drive, let's open it up. This is gonna be my games drive, and I don't know if I'm gonna need to get a... <sighs> How am I gonna mount this guy? <clears throat> Kind of want her screwed in pretty good, but doesn't look to me like it comes with any. They don't even give you screws nowadays. It's supposed to come with your screw kit, I guess. But well, that's not too good. But I think I'll wait until I put that in after. Get windows and stuff thrown in it. And I think we should be good. Okay, double checking everything. All the plugs are good. We're not really running a whole lot of power here. Sort of kind of weirdish as it is. Let's just go into that drive. It's really tight down there. I should have probably used the other. Um, where did they go? See, I got this jammed into that drive, but I probably should have just used the end one because now I got to fight. Well, I guess it's six and one half and dozens of the others, but hopefully it's gonna read okay. I should maybe just come on. Yeah, I'm not super crazy about that. I'm not super crazy about that. The way it's kind of jammed a little funny there. I just don't know if I change to the other plug if it's going to really make any difference. But uh, let's put another cable in, I guess, just for for one end, which is kind of silly. But we can do that, I guess. The other one's going way up to the top right now. I'm not going to fish all that out now. Because that's silly too. Okay. What are you doing to me there? Okay, so we've got a lot more cable here now. Just to get this guy into the drive. Make sure I put her the right way with the... Uh, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, spaghetti mess. Okay, so it's gotta go this way. Oh, that is better. That is better. Too bad I have to run all this extra cable in here now though. Just to get the one end. <laughs> Fun stuff. And we'll hook back the data 
SATA data cable. There we go. Let's get everything all tucked in out of the way so the fans are all clear. Lots of fans. Okay, I think we're I think we're good. We'll just double check everything. I have actually another, I believe, USB port there for 3.0. But that one's buried way under the card here now, so there's no point in messing with that. And that's good, all the memories pushed in. Hopefully the fan's good. I'm a little, still a little leery on that, but... We've got this fan hooked up. The CD drive's hooked up. The hard drive's hooked up. And we got one, two, three more sat apart, so we could actually run three more drives. No, we didn't. One, two, three, four more drives out of this thing. If need be. I don't think I'll ever need that much, so... So, video cards in. Feels pretty firm. I seem to be missing a screw out of there. I don't know why, but... But I'll have to figure out how to mount this other hard drive. I'm not too sure. Maybe I can even just put it right on the bottom here and find some screw holes. Let's get her out here just for a second again. And run... Maybe run the power to it there. Warranty. Oh my goodness, that is a really, really good sticker. Huh. I got something that'll fix that. So I probably won't do very much video part of it, but loading windows and stuff. I'm just gonna, I hate doing Windows stuff. It does suck. So if I put that this way, if I put a fan there, is there anywhere I can get You know, that might actually work. <laughs> There's actually holes that line up pretty good in that much, that much screen. But I'm not going to worry about this right now. We'll put that in a little bit later on when I get Windows in. Just want to make sure everything gets configured right just on the one drive. I don't have to worry about installing it to the wrong drive. So, yeah, we should be Good. Now, hopefully I can just install Windows. I've got my CD key and I've got Windows 10 on a thumb drive. So I'll have to go into the BIOS here and select the thumb drive to boot off of that and it should start up the Windows stuff. Hopefully. That's the plan. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'll take her in, hook her up, and I'll maybe film the first firing up and uh, you know, get started on this Windows fun stuff. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Hold your horses. Got a couple fans here I want to put in the top. If they'll fit. Forgot about them. Just to give me a little more. Oh, I'm glad my foot wasn't there. <laughs> give me a little more cooling power. And these things light up too. I think they're red. It's kind of silly. I don't really need that at all. But... Um, ooh, hopefully they come with screws, because I don't have screws, but I do now. Sweet. Ooh, they're big fellers, too. Okay. Now. Hopefully they mark in here which way is which. <laughs> I would say it would spin... Geez, you know what? I'm not sure now. Uh, let's see. Warranty against defects. You would kind of think they would give you instructions on which way to install them things because, uh, hmm. I don't know really now. I don't know. I don't know which way they go. But let's just see if they're even gonna fit in here. They should. Yeah, that should bring in some air. Hmm. See, they could go that way too, though. I don't know. You can only hook it up kind of one way. Oh, wait a second here. 
Wait a second here. Yeah, those should still work. They're a different plug though. Yeah, they should mount down on. The, for some reason, they have on the boards. They have four plugs, four pins. These only have three. And then they have to actually mesh into like a slot thingy. I should go research and see if I can figure out which way they spin. I don't. I don't remember now, honestly. Well, if I look at this, that would blow out. That would blow down. So if I want it to suck air in, I should mount them this way. I'm going to take a gamble. Just take a gamble here, boys. I'm going to take a gamble. Better get these up here a bit. There. So they're a little tight. A little tight with those ram chips right there. That would blow some nice air right on those ram chips, wouldn't it? Maybe get these cables in just a little bit tighter. I think I'd want it to go this way. For the cable reasoning. So, so, oh, why is, it, why is it so tight? Let's just have a look here. So it is just sliding down the edge of this rim, but I think I can maneuver that in there. I think I can maneuver, oops, sorry, yeah, I'm going to get you back out. I think I can maneuver that in there just enough. That's just bang on, though. Okay, that'll actually stay there. Let's screw those fellers in. I, I'm hoping I got this the right way. Not, I guess we'll be taking it apart again, which I'm kind of expecting probably have to anyways. Because <laughs> I'm sure I've screwed something up on this build. So I don't know if it's better to bring air in. I've only really got the one fan on the back to exhaust air out. But I could potentially could potentially put uh, one on the very bottom but I think I'm gonna put that drive there so I guess it's gonna find its way out anyways with that much coming in it'll find holes not like it's a sealed tight case sorry I think I'm shaking you there aren't I I apologize for shaking But it makes you feel like you're part of the build because you're moving with me. That's good. Yeah, I've had these fans for a wee while. I wanted to put them in before and I never got to them. So I'm like, oh, well, let's put them in now. How about that? Okay, so we got a cable there. That's just going to hang down there for a minute. And I'll get our other one here. Maybe I should have one in, one out, but I think I'm going to put two two going in. Now, before we get too crazy here, let's just make sure we got plugs for these things fairly, fairly, fairly close. I see another one down there and I think it's CPU optional, but that would work, I think. There's nothing else over here except one there so I don't have to get routed down and jammed on that one and then I know there's some more here why am I not seeing them <laughs> there's one there too okay so that fan oh, it'd be nice if I could get that plug to come over there Oh, 
Holy shnikes, this is a tight fit. Okay, I'll go out of the way there. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. I should have. Hmm. Okay, so that cable is out there now. Now I should be able to. <laughs> the plan is. The plan is. See what I'm doing. It'd be really nice. Oh my goodness. I got him. Okay. So that guy can go there. And the other one is down here, I believe. So we'll have to. Uh, Holy jumping, what are you doing to me upstairs there? So this one will maybe run. And right about there. That's a big fat cable out of the way here. Okay, so yeah, if we run this one maybe here, and that should go down the back side. Oh, ding, ding. Self-tapping screws. They tap their own holes. Pretty nice. They spin in there, right? Yeah. Oh, they are kind of concaved, I guess. Embossed. For that purpose. One more, and then we'll put in the plug. You can do smaller fans on this too, but I got the, uh, what the heck size were these ones? 120 mil or something? 120 millimeter, 25 millimeter, yeah. So they suck and blow fans really good. Okay, so put this guy back down here and Let's see where we're gonna plug him in below with this one. Try to keep everything rolled up nice already as it is. Plugged. Alright, I think we're good. Now hopefully those fans are right. I will know pretty darn quick. Just going to make sure I got everything. I haven't put that other drive in yet. I know that. I'm going to wait. The RAM's in, the hard drive's in, the CPU is obviously in. We've glued the CPU with that goop. Put the fan on. It seems to be on. These two fans on. I do believe all the plugs are now hooked where they should be, hopefully. Only got two drives, well, one CD drive, which is totally useless. I'm still not 100% sure. It seemed to clip on, but I wasn't 100% sure. I really liked that main ATX cable the plug. I guess it'll be all right. We will know momentarily. All right. So, oh. something I don't like about this. Seems like there's a bigger gap. 
They're all locked in still, so that's good. Video car's locked in. Okay. Now we'll go in and hook her back on and see what happens. Oh, we better put this uh, side plate back on here, too. Okay, so I got a first weird thing. Uh, for some reason, I have plugged everything and I haven't turned anything on yet, though. I don't think. I have. <laughs> Maybe I have. I see funny lights back in there. Okay, so that's not a good thing. What's going to go happen here? Is it? Is it did it turn on on its own? That's kind of weird. Why would it do that? I don't think it's turned on yet, but I got power going in here. That's weird. Usually when a computer shuts off, the computer shuts off. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I haven't started it yet. I haven't pushed the start button, so I don't know. I would think that's that's weird that it's on, that it's not on though. The mouse I've got plugged into the USB here, right? So I am not too sure why why it's sorta of on. Confusing me a bit. Alright, well I'm gonna hit the switch. Hopefully she don't fry. Ooh. Ooh. I have to go into the BIOS here. For some reason that started and then stopped. And started. I don't know why. So that's going to load up. I'm going to delete to enter BIOS so I can select the USB which is now plugged in. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm pressing delete. My keyboard is on. <laughs> F1 to run setup. That's what I want, I think. Uh, anyways, I'm going to work at this because I know this is probably going to suck. And it's probably going to take a while. But, I want to check a couple things here. Oh, to make sure these are, they're sucking in. They're bringing in some fresh, and that one's blowing out. That's good. Isn't that pretty in there? Holy, it's almost so bright you guys can't see that. And unfortunately, I won't see it either when the cover goes off. <laughs> Unless I leave the cover off, but that'd be distracting, I think. Okay, so I gotta figure all this out. My gosh, this stuff has changed a freaking lot. But so far, it looks like it's working. I think. It looks like I got a mouse too, so that's working. I got the USB hooked up, right? So I got to select, hopefully, the boot priority in here. It looks like it's got the Samsung as the first one. Well, let's just see here. How do I change that now? Boot primary flash partition one, I think. Oh uh, boy, oh boy, this is really confusing. Anyways, I'm going to work at this. We'll be back when we're booting, uh, well, loading Windows up, maybe. Okay, we're copying files, installing Windows. Uh, we had a little problem with the partition on the drive, because this was the old drive from the old computer, so it had a, I uh, can't remember, it needed to be a GPT format or something partition and it was an MRB format or something didn't like that so it seems okay now we got her switched and I think it's good it's actually going pretty quick getting files ready for installation 12% off the thumb drive it's a little faster than the old CD crappy stuff right so we're working on her and she's coming so far so good couple little hiccups but nothing too bad and it hasn't quit yet in the BIOS there, the CPU is running at about 25 degrees, so that's pretty good. I think we got our paste up real good, and uh, should be all right. Okay, I think I'm in. I see a window. I wonder why they called it that. Why did they call it Microsoft? It's obviously the company, but Windows. I wonder what was with the Windows. Uh, so I don't exactly know yet what I have to do here, but... I don't really think I like this. Uh, <laughs> what? 
they have to change everything. It's actually not too bad by the looks of things. Maybe I'll try it for a while. I'm going to see if I can open internet stuff here. Is it working? Let's go to... Oh, man, i got to install a pile of stuff. Uh, you... How does it know? YouTube. And then we want to go to this guy. L, L, S. There you go. T. Bill's T Max. Hey, that's me. That's me. 154,489 subscribers. You guys are crazy watching this guy. Um, well, let's take the tractors. I don't have sound, I don't think, yet. Uh, I can't tell. But... Um... Open sound settings. Ooh, this is different. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Well, actually, I can hear it coming out of my earphone, so that's good. But there should be... Uh, hmm. It's a lot different. There should be. Well, actually, that's just a. Well, that seems to be working. Okay. We're loading up the big old John Deere AR. Um, no thanks. So, yeah, we need to do a bunch of installing here. Oh, man, all my vast... Oh, I got a lot of work here to do. The first thing I want to do is... With a fire... Fox. Because that's what I use. Download Mozilla Firefox. Download now. Let's maximize this because it looks funny. Firefox more than just a browser. Oh, and I gotta do all my video card stuff. Oh, <laughs> I got a lot of work to do here. Um, let's run that because I do not like Windows Explorer. It has got to be the biggest piece of crap ever. Yes, install. Anyways, it seems to be working. I have a pile of installing to do here now. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work. But we'll be right back. Okay, so I got pretty much everything ready to go here. I got my uh, movie studio, Vegas Movie Studio Platinum installed so I can edit this, <laughs> hopefully. And uh, I got my desktop pictures back in of the kids and stuff when they were kids and now they're turds, but now they're kids, if you know what I mean. <laughs> they're 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 uh, <laughs> teenagers now and they don't need parents right now, so you know that'll it'll come back around. But anyways, they're at that age. So we'll close this off, see if movie studio will open. So I think she's gonna open here. And we'll have to shut this video down so I can get the, the card out. And yeah, it looks like it's going to work. Cool. There she is. Oh, Vegas News. Oh, add more. No, I don't need more stuff. Now, this is in night mode. And I don't kind of like the night mode. So i got to figure out again how to change that. View, maybe, there's so much stuff in this. <laughs> Anyways, I'll figure that out, but I'm going to call her a day for now. I think everything's good. I just have to install my other drive so I can install my Steam and all of some of the games and farm sim and get all those files and hopefully the save game back to where it should be and put the mods back in and a lot of messing around yet to do to get the, the game side of it up. So, And a lot of downloading and installing all the games again, which is all right. So anyways, that's it for today. I think we're good to go. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all later.